First Defense Weather is sponsored by 42 Degrees and Sunny. Smoking deals on smoking accessories. Learn more at 42DegreesAndSunny.com. That's 42DegreesAndSunny.com. First Defense Weather, the Southern Tier's only live and local weather source. Now, here's Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. Well, a happy Wednesday to you, and uh, let's talk about where we are for seasonal snow as we run right now. So uh, we've had 21 inches of snow uh, throughout uh, the winter season so far. Uh, we should be at 30.9 inches, so that's a deficit of close to 10 inches for the season. And we're actually running close to about where we were last year. At this time last year, we were at 21.2, so you can see only about two hundredths of an inch less of snow than we had last year. All right, so let's take you through future scan. Now, we've had a few peaks of sunshine early this afternoon. That's going to go away and, and uh, widespread rain showers are going to be coming in uh, from west to east through the afternoon. A southerly wind component today, so that'll help warm us up a little bit but it's not really going to feel all that warmer. We have a healthy south wind, and uh, so that's going to help uh, keep wind gusts possibly up to 50 miles an hour near the Lake Erie shoreline. There is a wind advisory until 4 o'clock uh, for the western southern tier. Now, colder air works in tonight, changes this over to some snow showers. Little accumulation, if anything, an inch on the hills. That'll do it. And then the best chance of snow tomorrow will be in the morning. Clears out for the afternoon. New Year's Eve is looking Hey, we'll show you the New Year's Eve forecast in just a second here, but our but uh, our main focus is going to turn to New Year's Day. Friday, as a deep storm system passes close to the region, we could see some icing early in the day. This is by about the afternoon time on Friday. Notice all this pink. When we start getting into this pink, that's always a red flag in our forecast because that generally means sleet or freezing rain. Now, we're just a little too far out for some of the high res data to actually start coming in, but uh, some of the early model guidance does suggest that this could be accumulating freezing rain, aka ice, on the roadways. And uh, the ice accumulation at at this point is not looking anything major, but uh, again, about a quarter of an inch is the magic number. That's when we start, you know, kind of raising the flags for possible power outages with the weight of the ice. But uh, we don't think we're going to get a quarter of an inch, but we do think there could be enough to slicken up the roadways through the afternoon on Friday. So if you're traveling New Year's Day, Keep an eye on that uh, because uh, the slick spots could be returning with some of that ice. Uh, the uh, New Year's Eve ball drops still from downtown Buffalo from atop of the electric tower tomorrow night. Of course, you can't go to the game due to the pandemic, the, the uh, ball drop due to the pandemic. But of course, it will be televised 1159 as the ball is descending from atop of electric tower. It'll be about 27 degrees in downtown Buffalo with most of the cloudy skies. So no weather hassles uh, for the uh, ball drop this year in Buffalo. But unfortunately, we can't go to it. But uh, some uh, but uh, some early sunshine early this afternoon. Rain showers develop west to east as a storm system moves close to the region. A bit milder and windy. 34 on the hills, 46 near the immediate Lake Erie waterfront. 15 to 30 miles per hour winds with that gust possibly up to 50 near the immediate Lake Erie shoreline. So the uh, 42 degrees and sunny seven day, 32 tomorrow. The uh, scattered flakes early in the morning clears out for the afternoon. Friday, some icing, especially late morning, early afternoon. Then we'll transition to likely all rain. 38 Saturday as we kick off the first weekend of 2021 wet and mild 44 35 on Sunday just an isolated snow shower we're a bit milder both Monday and Tuesday with temperatures close to near 40 and some partial sunshine could be possible each day